Summary of the Postmaster by Rabindranath Tagore The Postmaster takes place in Yulapur, Bengal, a humble village, in the 1800s, when the British Raj was in charge. The owner of a British-owned indigo dye plant in Yulapur has persuaded the imperial government to open a post office in the village. A man from Calcutta has been hired as the postmaster. He moves to Yulapur and works in a hut that doubles as a post office. But he doesn't fit in with the other men in town because they are less educated than him and don't have time to hang out because they work at a factory. But the postmaster doesn't have much to do, so he writes poems about his natural settings when he has free time. The village girl Rutten, who is orphan, does chores for the postmaster in exchange for some of his food, even though he doesn't get paid much. Poor Rutten, who is 12 or 13 years old, is not likely to get married because she does not have a gift. For some reason, the mailman feels lonely and decides to talk to Rutten, even though they are from different social classes. When they talk about their childhoods, they become close and talk late into the night. Rutten starts to see the postmaster's family as her own, but the postmaster still wants a close companion to help him deal with his loneliness and sees Rutten as a stand-in for the love partner he wants. Rutten is eager to learn how to read, so the postmaster chooses to teach her. She learns quickly from him. The heavy rains in Yulipur, on the other hand, make the postmaster sick. Rutten nurses him back to health, soothing his illness and loneliness with feminine tenderness, but the postmaster has to leave his job in the village. He quits his job completely after being turned down for a move to another village. The mailman tells Rutten that he has to leave Yulipur, which breaks her heart. Rutten begs the postmaster to take her home with him because he is desperate. The postmaster is shocked and says, how could I do that? However, Rutten doesn't feel better after hearing that the new mailman will take care of her the same way he did. She tells him that she doesn't want to stay in Yulipur without him. Finally, the mailman tries to give Rutten some of his extra pay, but she turns him down and runs away. On his way to Calcutta by boat, the postmaster thinks of Rutten's grief-stricken face, which says of great unarticulate universal sorrow. And he thinks about the many separations and many deaths that are a part of life. Rutten, who was left behind in Yulipur, has a faint hope that the postmaster will come back, but Tagore's narrator says that people cling with both arms to false hope, even in the worst of times. This means that Rutten's hope is completely pointless and can't help her through tragedy and loss. About the author Rabindranath Tagore was born in Calcutta, British India, in 1861. He was a famous Bengali writer and a leader of the Bengal Renaissance, a time when Bengali art and culture thrived during the British Indian Empire's rule in the 1800s and 1900s. Tagore was born into a rich, well-educated family that was involved in Bengal's literary scene. He is best known for Gitanjali, a collection of poems he wrote in 1910 that means song offering and for which he won the Nobel Prize in Literature. Tagore went to school in India and England, in Calcutta, East Sussex, and at University College London. Many people in the literary modernist movement saw him as an artist who could connect British and Bengali literary traditions. Tagore was publicly against the British Raj, or British colonial rule in India. He was known as the Bard or Shakespeare of Bengal. Tagore became friends with British writers H. G. Wells, George Bernard Shaw, and W. B. Yeats, who helped publish Gitanjali and wrote an introduction to it. But Tagore was strongly against British imperialism, and he turned down an offer of knighthood from the British government in 1919 after the Jallianwalabagh massacre in which British troops in India shot and killed peaceful protesters. Tagore is known today for his deep lyrical poems, but he also wrote a lot of other types of writing, like essays, short stories, plays, lectures, drawings, and paintings. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.